Hello, this is Ian from IDT, and today we'll be demonstrating the quad camera dock. First, let's take a closer look at each of the components that make up the quad camera dock setup. This setup of the quad camera dock has the following accessories. The quad camera dock itself, the 12 watt hour swappable battery, mini IO to RJ45 ethernet cable, a 24 volt power supply, a USB-C cable, and the USB-C cable retainers. For this particular setup, we're going to use a crash cam mini. The quad camera dock can transfer power, data, and a sync signal to up to four cameras. We recommend that you connect the camera that you want the sync out signal to come from to the USB-C slot labeled M for master. The included USB-C retainers provide for a secure cable connection. We can attach the USB-C cable retainer as follows. First, install the retainer loosely. Don't tighten anything at this step. Then, insert the cable into the device through the retainer. It should secure firmly. Using a 564 hex driver, alternate tightening the two outside screws on the retainer. Then, tighten the center screw to lock the cable in place. 5 meters is the maximum cable length with only one USB-C cable. If you need more than 5 meters for your setup, you can use up to two additional 5 meter cables using the USB-C cable coupler. Note that when using the USB-C coupler, it is important to ensure correct orientation of the USB-C cables. For example, if the USB-C symbol on the cable's connector is facing up on one side of the coupler, it must alternate and face down on the other side, as shown. Note the number 6 size holes at the base. These allow you to mount the dock. Now, we need to power this setup. We can do this using our 24 volt power supply or our 12 watt hour swappable battery. Let's start by showing how to power the quad camera dock using the 24 volt power supply. Simply line up the red indicator dot on the power supply's Lima connector to the corresponding red indicator on the quad camera dock's power connector. Then, connect the power supply to an external power source. Now we know how to connect the quad camera dock to a 24 volt power supply. Let's take a look at using our 12 watt hour swappable battery to power the setup instead. The 12 watt hour swappable battery will power one camera for approximately 45 minutes, whereas four cameras simultaneously can be powered for approximately 10 minutes, depending on the camera model. You can connect up to two batteries to the quad camera dock, giving approximately double the power time. You can check the battery power level by pressing the button on the side of the battery. Before attaching a battery to the quad camera dock, remove the included battery cover plate using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Let's see how to connect the battery to the quad camera dock. First, plug the battery into the quad camera dock and tighten the thumb screws by hand. Then, use a flathead screwdriver to tighten the thumb screws until snug. Now that the battery and camera are connected, let's go over the cable connections possible with the quad camera dock. On top of the quad camera dock, we have trigger in and trigger out SMA connectors which can accept a TTL signal or switch closure trigger. You can use these connectors to daisy chain a trigger to other devices. Also, on top is the power supply connector as well as the power button. The quad camera dock can be turned on by pressing the power button. And turned off by holding the power button for 5 seconds. After turning on, the LED status light will blink green when the dock is idle, and red when a connected camera is ready for triggering. Moving on, let's look at the camera ports. You'll notice an M next to the master port. This port provides the sync out signal. You can connect up to four cameras by using all four ports. On the other side, the mini I.O. connector is for Ethernet, which gives control and communication. Directly beneath the mini I.O. connector, you will see the sync in and sync out SMA connectors, which provide synchronization signals. 
Finally, the Ready SMA connector can give a signal that the camera is ready to be triggered. Now you know how to use a quad camera dock to power and control up to four cameras simultaneously. Thank you for watching this demonstration.